Today, we're going to partake his Friday prayers on Friday the 22nd of July, 2011. Let's pray together. Father God, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. We thank you that you are interested in every facet of every person on this your earth. We thank you for sending your Son Jesus into the world so that we may have access to you through him. And it's in his name we offer you these praises and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We come now to praying for the needs of individuals. Father, we lift these dear ones to you who are in need of a healing touch and to be held in your arms of compassion. We bring before you these three grieving families and we pray that you will give comfort in their grief and as funeral services are prepared. For the family of Annette's mother, the family of John and the family of Gladys. We lift to you these people who are unwell at this time and ask for a healing touch from you and for you to help the medical teams. Claire, Eileen, Geraldine, Kath, Maureen, Hannah, Elsie, Chris and Genevieve. You may provide a healing touch and guide the hands of the medical staff treating them. We lift to you Kathy who is recovering from surgery. Be with her and her family as they support her. Give them an assurance of your presence and help the medical staff treating her. We bring before you now Lynn, who requires healing. We also bring her brother before you, who may need to have both kidneys removed, as well as her co-worker, who may have to go on dialysis. We also bring before you Beverly, that she may be healed of long-term injuries and that you would guide and provide for her as she ministers to others. We lift our brother Richard to you, who is just coming out of a time of depression. Lord, please lift his heart and his spirits, and do let him know your presence, Almighty God, with him. We pray also for Terry Hanford, who has Parkinson's disease. This week has been quite an ordeal for him, and we lift him to you. Give him comfort, Lord, encourage him, and let him also know that your spirit is there with him. Father, we also lift before you all those facing challenging situations, such as confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues, and financial pressures. O oh, Father, 
please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we pray for this world. Father God, we lift to you once again the people affected by the famine in the Horn of Africa. Help those people, Father, in ways which only you can achieve. Fire the imagination of people to solve these ongoing problems. Enlighten people to give generously, to share, and to be looking to the interests of others. Father, tear down the barricades being put in place by Muslim insurgents, and that aid being offered will get through. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife, and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need, following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading and participating in church services around the world this weekend. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and with integrity and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide and uplift them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. Now as we close, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you later.